Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're exploring one of the most talked about tools in the world of content creation, TechSmith Camtasia. If you've ever wanted to create professional tutorials, product demos, or smooth screen recorded videos without spending hours learning complicated editing software, then this one's for you. Camtasia has become a go-to choice for YouTubers, teachers, marketers, and even business professionals who want to communicate visually and make their content stand out. But what really makes it special? Is it just another screen recorder or a full-fledged editing suite that can compete with the big names out there like Premiere Pro or Final Cut? In this video, we'll dig deep into what Camtasia actually offers from its easy drag-and-drop editing tools to its built-in transitions, templates, and advanced animation features. We'll also see how it performs when it comes to exporting quality, timeline control, and workflow speed. Have you ever struggled to sync your audio with your video perfectly or wished you could create interactive learning content without coding. Camtasia claims to make all that possible, but can it really deliver on those promises? Stick around till the end because we're going to test it out, talk about its pricing, who it's best for, and whether it's truly worth your investment in 2025. So grab your coffee, get comfortable, and let's dive into the world of TechSmith Camtasia, the tool that might just change the way you create videos forever. If we open the software, you'll immediately notice that the interface looks modern, clean, and really well designed. Here, we can explore all of Camtasia's key features in one place. Right at the top, you'll see the home section along with the recording option, which allows you to record your video, audio, or even capture images directly from your screen. Next to that, there are several useful tools such as the cursor, corner pin, stick, and crop options, along with the screen fit feature to perfectly adjust your recording area. Now if we look to the left hand side you'll notice a favorite section. Here you can add any tools, effects, or features that you frequently use so they're always easy to access. Just below that there's the media tab. This is where you can drag and drop your videos, pictures, music, or any other media files that you want to use in your project. I'm going to add two sample videos here as an example. Once your videos are added simply drag them to the timeline below so you can start editing. After adding them to the timeline, you can also mute the video's audio if you don't want to use it. To do that, just right-click on the video and a small menu will appear. Click on Silence Audio and your video's sound will be turned off. You can always keep it on if you prefer, but for this example, I'll turn off the audio for both videos. Now, let's move to the Library tab on the left side. This section includes a wide range of ready-to-use assets. At the top, you'll find Audio Tracks Camtasia provides three different categories of background music and sound effects that you can use freely in your videos. You'll also find fonts, counters, cursor animations, and even dynamic backgrounds, which can add a more professional touch to your projects. To show you how this works, I'll add a background to my timeline. Simply drag any background from the library to the timeline and remember to place it below your video layer so it appears behind your clips. Once added, select your video and resize it slightly to fit the background properly. You can adjust the position however you like, and just like that, your video now has a professional looking background. As you can see, after adding the background, our video now looks much more polished and visually appealing. You can also use any of these backgrounds in your own projects to enhance your videos. So guys, if we look just below the library, we can see the annotations option, which offers a wide range of useful tools and effects. Let's select one of the arrows from the sketch motion category and drag it onto the timeline. Once it's added, if you look to the right hand side, you'll see several customization options. You can change the color, adjust the thickness, and even set the draw time to control how quickly the arrow appears on screen. These tools let you personalize your visuals and make your video look more dynamic and engaging. You can also move or reposition any of these elements freely to match your video's layout. Now if we move to the callout section, you'll find a variety of ready-made text boxes, shapes, and labels. I'll add one here as an example. Callouts are great for adding titles, tips, or short messages anywhere in your video. You can type anything you want inside the box. For now, I'll just keep it simple. After adding the callout, look again at the right-hand panel. Here you can change the font style, make your text bold, and customize the text color to match your video's theme. This makes your content not only informative but also visually appealing. If we talk about the next feature, it's the visual effects section in Camtasia. Here we get several powerful tools such as background remover, blend mode, blur region, clip speed, and color adjustment all designed to enhance the overall look of your videos. For this example, 
I'm going to use the device frame effect. Simply drag and drop it onto your video clip in the timeline and it will instantly wrap your footage inside a realistic device frame, like a phone, tablet, or computer screen. Now let's play the video to see how it looks. As you can see, the effect gives your video a clean and professional appearance. So that's how easily you can apply and customize visual effects in Camtasia to make your videos look more creative and engaging. So guys, next up is one of my favorite features in Camtasia, and that's transitions. This is an amazing feature that helps create a smooth and professional flow between two video clips. Let me show you how it works. Simply choose any transition from the list then drag and drop it right between your two clips on the timeline, just like I'm doing here. Now, let's play the video and see the result. As you can see, the transition adds a clean and seamless effect between the clips, making your video look much more professional. That's how easily you can add and use transitions in Camtasia to give your edits a polished cinematic touch. So guys, Camtasia is packed with so many incredible features that I honestly can't cover them all in a single video. Otherwise, this tutorial would go on forever. But trust me, it's definitely worth trying at least once. The link to the official website is available in the description box below, so make sure to check it out. Camtasia isn't just a simple screen recorder. It's a complete all-in-one video editing solution that lets you record, edit, and polish your videos with ease. Alright guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more amazing tech and AI related content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, keep creating, and stay awesome.